extend your inclusive and sustainable economic growth. It's about saving the economy from the minority that are dominant today and including everybody in the economy, the exploited majority of our people. But capitalism, when it talks about inclusion, it wants to exploit all of us. That is why this system has to be demolished completely, especially in our country. We want to say, comrade, capitalism only survives from disparity in income distribution, from expropriation of production of work by labor. And under the capitalist system, workers are, ex are exploited continuously in order to sustain a capitalist economic growth. We don't need a capitalist economic growth. We need a people's economic growth in our country so that we can kill poverty and unemployment in our country. Our stock exchange is full of trillions of money, and yet our people are living in difficult conditions with no food. Majority of them sleep in hunger, whereas the rich, every single day, most of them are dying from overeating. It is therefore, comrade, reasonable that we should expect this Congress of SATU to qualitatively talk about the pursuit of a socialist society as your theme states and challenge the dominant capitalism of today, which is neoliberalism and its notions. One of the fundamental problems of neoliberalism today, neoliberalism is modern capitalism. Neoliberalism's main task or the modern capitalist duty today is to appropriate the power of the public sector, the power of the state, so that all social services, all services that are provided by the state are provided by corporations who are unaccountable to the people who also commodify the services that everyone must have access to. That is why we must confront and defeat capitalism in our country. You can have the richest country in the world, the United States, just counting only its debt. It has 35 trillion US dollars in debt of its budget. The African continent as a whole combined the GDP is less than 5 trillion US dollars. There in that country, beyond that debt plus its 21 trillion economic budget, they still cannot end poverty because this money is concentrated in the hands of the minority few who do not want to share with society. We even have one chap there who was born in this country, Elon Musk, is one of the richest guys in the world. He's worth, he's worth more than 50 African countries combined. They say he's possibly going to be first, the first trillionaire in the next 10 years. What are you going to do to be a trillionaire? with such kind of money, when the people are suffering worldwide. This is the problem of capitalism. Therefore, this system has to be removed. We have seen the high levels, the high crisis levels of poverty in...